Well, Kent McDonald is leading the horses to the post. Race number two, second half of the Daily Double. These are conditioned pacers. Racing one mile, a purse of $3,000. And again, a driver's change on the seven horse. Ten minutes until post time. Number one, too much monkey business. Owned and trained by Roy Murphy and Larry King of Wilshire, Ohio. Mike Wilder driving. The two, Wiley Deer. Owned by John Wally of Richwood, Paul Black trains for Brad Hanners. The three CU Sale, owned by the Hall Investment Company of Logan, Dick Brandt trains for David Myers. Number four, Bye Bye Sydney, owned by Gary Mullins of Westerville and Downing of Columbus, Selden Ledford trains for Eric Lenford. The five, Noble Town, owned by Ader, Houston McCallum's Jeremy Haller of Ohio, Dan Ader trains and drives. Number six, Bannock, owned by Dean Collins and Diane Elliott of New Albany and Columbus. Dean Collins, the trainer driver. Seven, Midnight Romeo. Owned by Pelicone Jr. of Morgantown, West Virginia and Fawcett of Carrollton. William Fawcett is the uh, trainer. Drivers change here to Del Miller, Del S. Miller. The eight, Harold Leader, owned by Bob Griffith of Georgetown, Kentucky. Robert Burns trains Hubity Jr. in the Sonkey. One play show perfecta trifecta wagering eight minutes until post time. Eight minutes. Pacers lining up, moving in. Moving to the back stretch. There they go. And they're off. And from the outside, that's Bannock who fires quickly for the lead alongside and second by by Sydney. Towards the inside of three, see you seal. Angling in fourth comes Midnight Romeo from off the pylons five. Too much monkey business. At the and sixth, it's Wiley Deer. To the outside and racing is seventh. Noble Town, the early trailer is Harold Leader. Around the first turn in Bannock. Extending a, a lead here quickly up by four. The opening panel in 27 and two. Pacers in straight alignment here with Bannock showing the way as Collins looking to reel him in here. CU Sale of the inside is racing second at the rail three. It's by by Sydney. Here comes Midnight Romeo moving first up at the outside, challenging third. And too much monkey business quickly takes that cover, is drafting along second over fourth. Moving into the uh, clubhouse turn, and it's Bannock with that lead. And Midnight Romeo now to the outside, pressuring that leader. CU Sale at the rail is third, half in 57 and 2. Out of the outside, too much monkey business is still waiting fourth. Bye bye, Sydney at the rail is fifth. On the outside, the sixth comes Wiley Deer to the back stretch. And on the front, Bannock has led the entire mile. Leads by three parts of a length. Midnight Romeo is right there, second. See you, Sail, locked in tight here. And too much monkey business now comes to the outside. And Wilder sends him on the outside. He was fourth. He's now third. He's now second. But he's three wide, three quarters, 126. Around the final turn, and Bannock continues to lead, but the gray, too much monkey business, is right there alongside, applying heavy pressure. See you sail by by Sydney to the outside. Less than an eighth of a mile ago, and down the stretch they come. Too much monkey business has taken the lead. Inside, Midnight Romeo. Down low comes See You Sail, and here's Bye Bye Sydney. And Bye Bye Sydney getting up to win it. Second, too much monkey business. See You Sail up for third. Here, ladies and gentlemen, is the official winner of the second number of four, Bye Bye Sydney. Four year old Ohio Brett, son of Sydney Hill from the Overkill Mayor, Rachel Rachel. Owned by Gary Mullins, a Wasterville and Downing of Columbus, Salton Lundford trains Eric Lundford in the Sonkey. Bye Bye Sydney coming through late in the stretch, recording his fourth of the season. That in record time, second race, 155, one fifth. $2 perfecta, 4 one, $65.80, 65 80 The 4 one, 3 trifecta, $300.40, 340 The daily double, 3-4, three, $327.60, 327 60